Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Camping out! Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Are you ready to come camping? Yes, please. Um, why have you brought an orange? It's to scare off gnomes. You know what they say. To scare off a gnome, bring an orange from home. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh, you don't want to bring a gnome on a camping trip. They talk and talk and talk and talk. Yes, gnomes are just like elves. Absolutely not. Gnomes are greedy, boring creatures who talk and talk and talk and Goodness, talk and... Goodness, look at the time. We really should be going. Bye, Mummy and Daddy. Bye, Nanny. Goodbye. Have fun. Watch out for those gnomes. Don't worry. We've got our orange. Here's the timetable. One, set up camp. Two, hang up washing. Three, make a campfire. Four... Dad, we're on holiday. Try to relax, Mr Elf. I'll do my best, Mrs Elf. Here we are. yippity doo da <laughs> <laughs> Will there be any dancing? Can we sing songs? There will be no dancing or singing. Just camping. Here's the tent. Shall I magic the tent up for us, Mr Elf? Holly, I'd rather you didn't do any magicking. Remember, this is an elf camp. Elves have been camping for hundreds of years. We can put tents up with our eyes closed. Wow! One elf tent. Hooray! Lovely. Now we're on holiday. Yes. And that means there's holiday work to be done. Holiday work? Next on the list, hang out the washing. But we've only just arrived. Why do you need to hang out the washing? A campsite can never be too clean and tidy. I'll slice the orange. Mrs Elf, how do oranges keep gnomes away? It's the smell. Gnomes hate the smell of oranges. Oh. There. Now we're safe. Next on the list, collect sticks for the campfire. Here are some sticks. Here are some more. OK, that's enough sticks. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Hello there. A gnome. Mind if I join you? Uh, well... Thank you. I'll only stay for a week or two. Oh, no. But... We had an orange. Yes. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the smell of this orange. But gnomes hate oranges. Normally, yes. But I'm on a balanced diet, you see. If I eat ten pies and twenty steam puddings, I need to balance that by eating fruit. <sighs> Let's make a fire. How do you make a fire, Mr Elf? Rub two sticks together really fast, like this. You have to rub the sticks a little bit faster. Would you like to hear the interesting thing I know about sticks? <sighs> sticks grow on trees. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm nice and warm now. That's because fire is hot. <laughs> <sighs> I'm hungry. Me too. What a surprise. I've hardly eaten anything today. I've only had ten pies, a skip full of chips, 30 apple tarts. Wow, that's a lot. A sponge cake, 100 sausages and that orange. I thought you said you were on a diet. Oh, I am. There are some things I don't eat, like stones, wood and television sets. But nobody eats those things. What? You're on this diet too? I never knew it was so popular. What's for dinner, Mrs Elf? Cheese and onion pie. Oh, thank you very much, Lee. That's tasty. Yes, it's scrummy. Oh, very good. What's that? It's an owl. It's got very big eyes. 
Would you like me to tell you an amazing fact about owls? Um... I'll take that as a yes. The owl is, in fact, a bird. It has big eyes for seeing things. <laughs> Six o'clock. Time for bed. Oh. I'll put the fire out. Can't you leave it to keep the owl warm? It's dangerous to leave a fire going, Princess Holly. That's right. Don't go to bed till the fire is out. And don't go to bed with a carrot on your head. <laughs> That's silly. Then, Holly, you get in the tent and go to sleep. Mr Gnome, you have to go home. But we're having fun. Elf camping is not meant to be fun. Bedtime is at six o'clock, not the middle of the night. Oh, I know a song about the middle of the night. Would you like to hear it? No! I'll take that as a yes. In the middle of the night, the stars twinkle bright. Rinky-dinky-doo, rinky-diddly-dee. Dooby-dooby-doo, dibbly-dibbly-dee. <laughs> All together now. Rinky-dinky-doo, rinky-diddly-dee. Dooby-dooby-doo. For bed. It was lovely meeting you, Mr. Gnome. But now we need to get some sleep. Oh, yes. A good night's sleep is very important. Rinky dinky doo, rinky diddly dee. Dooby dooby doo, dibbly dibbly dee. Rinky dinky oh. doo. Stop! Would you like me to stop? Yes! And please go! Would you like me to go? Yes! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, sleep well. See you in the morning. <laughs> Mr Gnome is funny. He is silly. Yes, really silly. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. <gasps> it's the gnome. He's come back to eat our breakfast. Oh, a mole. <laughs> oh, it's eating our washing. Shoo, shoo. Go away, mole. <laughs> Princess Holly, do you know a magic spell to get rid of moles? I'm sorry, Mr Elf. I don't. Oh, dear. Think, Mr Elf. What gets rid of moles? Hello. Yes, moles don't like us gnomes. No idea why. Ah, uh, thank you, Mr Gnome, for uh, saving our campsite from the mole. That's all right. What's for breakfast? The mole ate all the food. Oh, dear. Good morning. Nanny Plum! How was your night? It was very strange. Mr Gnome turned up and he loves oranges. And Mr Gnome sang a funny song called Rinky Dinky Doo. Then a mole came along and ate our washing line and all our food. And now we haven't any breakfast. Yes, I thought that might happen. That's why I've brought the magic picnic basket. Breakfast for everyone! Hooray! Hooray! Oh, I'm actually very hungry. Oh, have you not eaten either? Not today. Oh, dear, it's empty. <laughs> it isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. Magic basket, please. Breakfast for everyone! Hooray! I get the idea. Magic basket, please. Twenty poached eggs. Lots of toast. Nine jars of jam. Forty sausages and ninety pancakes. Yippee! What a splendid breakfast. Thank you, Mr Gnome. Breakfast is one of the things gnomes know a lot about. <laughs> Mm, yummy, yummy. Oh, oh, I almost forgot my balanced diet. I shouldn't be eating all this without also eating an orange. 
<laughs> Today's adventure starts at the frog pond. Tadpoles. For today's nature class, we shall be studying the pond. Ooh. Some creatures live on land, like elves. Oh. Some creatures live in water, like fish. Ah. Others live in water and on land, like... <laughs> frogs! Good, Ben. Who can tell me what frogs like to eat? Ice cream. Ho, oh, ho. No, Princess Holly. Does anyone else know? Is it flies? Correct, Barnaby. Frogs eat flies. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see where frogs come from? Yes, yes. Very well. Here we are. Ooh. Frogs lay eggs called frog spawn. They don't look like frogs. Oh, oh, we'll have to wait a few days to see. Now, who's going to look after our frog spawn? I will. Really, Princess Holly? Yes, please. <laughs> Very well. I'll help you take them home to the little castle. Hooray! <laughs> Da da dum, do da di da, da da la la, da dum di da, da la la di da da. Nanny Plum, Nanny Plum. Hello, Princess Holly. How did your lesson go? It was great. We learned all about frog spawn, and I've got some homework to do. That's very nice. Hello, Nanny Plum. Where do you want the frog spawn? Goodness me! Frog spawn? You always said I should learn more about nature, Nanny. Yes. But I didn't expect it to be in my kitchen. It was great today, Mummy. We learned all about frogs and I've got some homework to do. That's nice, darling. Good night. Good night, Mummy. <laughs> Good morning, frog spawn. Oh, where did those little fish come from? Those aren't fish, Holly. They're tadpoles. Hello, tadpoles. Uh, what are tadpoles, Nanny? They're baby frogs. They hatched from the frog spawn. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert on frogs. By tomorrow, they'll have changed again. Ooh. They start off as frog spawn and then they get little fishy tails and they're called tadpoles. Oh, oh, you seem to know an awful lot about frogs. Nanny's teaching me all about them. Do you like frogs, Daddy? Of course. As long as they keep to their pond and don't bother anyone, they can be a bit slimy and disgusting. <laughs> Daddy! Good night, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, tadpoles. <gasps> the tadpoles have got legs. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, Holly, but it'll be even more amazing later. Ooh. Mummy, I want to show you something. What is it, Holly? Come and see. <gasps> I can't see my tadpoles anymore. Tadpoles? They must be invisible. Nanny, did you do a spell on them? No, Holly. So where are they? <coughs> oh, dear. I think the king has found them. <coughs> where did this come from? <coughs> really? What a fuss over such a little creature. <coughs> <coughs> Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? What on earth is going on? 
Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. Here, Froggy, this way. <laughs> <laughs> this is my ring, and these are my toys. Crank, 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 crank. Let's play hide and seek. One, two, three. Ready or not? <laughs> Found you! <laughs> Let's play another game. Hop, hop, hop! <laughs> Bedtime, Princess Holly! Nanny, say hello to my friends. Fluffy, Tiddles, Mopsy and Ben. Um, hello. Good night, Froggies. Good morning, Ben. Are you coming out to play, Holly? I'm a bit busy, Ben. I'm playing with my frogs. Frogs? This one's very good at running and jumping. I've called him Ben. Oh. See you later. OK. Bye. <sighs> do something about these frogs, please, Nanny Plum. Mm, they do seem to be getting bigger and noisier. If they're smaller, perhaps they'll be quieter. Slimy eaters of flies shrink to half your size. Oh, they're smaller, but somehow I seem to have made more of them. Shall I try the spell again? Ah, uh, maybe not. Froggy, froggy. Frogs belong in water. Yes, Daddy. Daddy says frogs belong in water. So, let's magic the courtyard into a paddling pool. Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye-bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, flop. <laughs> there you go, froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. <laughs> That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Oh, no. Sorry, Froggies. Holly Thistle, did you do this? Yes, Daddy. You said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. Shoo. Uh. Hi, Ollie. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. Hmm. What we need is a clever plan to move them. Elves are very good at clever plans, and I'm an elf. <laughs> so what is your clever plan? We'll play leapfrog. You jump over my back and I'll jump over yours. Hoopla! Hoopla! How's this going to help? Hoopla! Hoopla! Look, they're following us. Hoopla! 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 Here we are, the pond. Well done, Ben. Thank goodness they're not in the castle anymore. But, Daddy, I'll miss them. Don't worry, Princess Holly. They'll come back to the castle one day. Why? Frogs always return to the place where they hatched to lay their eggs. 
Oh. Yippity doo da! <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Elf Games. Ben, where are you? Oh, hi Ben. Can I play too? I'm not playing. I'm training. It looks like playing to me. Well, it's not. I'm getting ready for the elf games. That sounds fun. Can I play some elf games? The elf games are not fun. They're very serious. Now, I need to practice my lifting. Ugh, this acorn's really heavy. I can do that. Abracadabra. Easy peasy. <laughs> you used magic. We don't have magic at the elf games. Oh. So what do you have? We have jumping. Hoopla! I can do that. Hoopla! <laughs> we don't have flying either. The games are not for fairies, just for elves. That's not fair. Fairies can do lots of things without flying or magic. Like what? I can dance like a ballerina. <laughs> OK, but we don't have dancing at the elf games. Dancing's not the only thing I can do. Look, I'm good at gymnastics. And I'm really good at looking pretty. We don't have dancing, gymnastics or looking pretty at the elf games. Why not? We're elves. <coughs> we have serious things like jumping, running and... Princess Holly, time for your lessons. Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. Ben's going to be in the elf games. Can we go too? Won't it be boring for you, Princess Holly? Watching a lot of sweaty little elves running about. We don't just run, we jump and we lift things. Look, I won this trophy for the high jump last year. Wow! If you really want a trophy, you can have one. Abracazoo, abracazap, for Princess Holly a fancy cup. Yippee! I've won a trophy. You can't just magic up a trophy. You have to work for it. I did work for it. I didn't get this good at doing spells without lots of practice. Well, I've got to go and practice my running and jumping. Good luck, Ben. Bye, Holly. See you later. Welcome to the Elf Games. Please remember the elf rules. No cheating and no... Excuse us, please. Fairy princess coming through. Carry on, Mr Old Elf. Ah, good day, Mistress Plum. Hi there. For the benefit of the <coughs> fairies amongst us, may I remind you there is to be strictly no magic and absolutely no flying. Dear me, I was right. This is going to be boring. Now to our first event, running. Look, there's Ben. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> We'll soon sort that out. May I? Thank you. Try this, Princess Holly. Ben! Ben! <gasps> what? Go on, Ben! Run, Ben! Ah! I've got very sensitive ears. Sorry, wise old elf! <laughs> Barnaby Elf is the winner. Oh, dear. Elves can be very touchy about this sort of thing. What 
did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. Maybe there's some other little game you can have a go at. Will all competitors please get ready for the next event? The high jump. You're very good at jumping, Ben. You'll easily win. I hope so. I hope so too. There's nothing worse than a grumpy elf. The first competitor is Lizzie Elf. Now, for last year's high jump champion, Ben Elf. Good luck, Ben. Yes, you can do it. Hoopla! Hooray! Phew, I didn't think he was going to do it. Another excellent jump. Now, for our final competitor, Barnaby Elf. Bad luck, Barnaby. We're down to the last two for the high jump trophy. I hope Ben doesn't knock the pole off. As long as they don't put it up any higher, I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, dear. Lizzie Elf. Come on, Lizzie. Jump high. <gasps> <gasps> now, Ben Elf. If he loses, he's going to be really upset. Don't worry. We'll give him a little bit of magical help. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed. Relax. No one will notice. Are you sure no one will notice, Nanny? Trust me. No one would notice. Someone has been using magic. He knows. OK, but he doesn't know it was me. Mistress Palum. Um, hello. I'll take that wand, if you please. And Ben Elf, you are disqualified from the high jump. But that's not fair. The rule book clearly says... Magic is not allowed at the Elf Games. But it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the Wheelbarrow Race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No! You've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben. I know I'll be good at it. Um, what is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, well. The rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks! Get set! Go! We won! Goodness me! The winners are Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Hey! Thanks, Holly. No problem, Ben. Who'd have thought a fairy could win the wheelbarrow race? And I can do this. Ooh. Gracious me. What was that? Dancing, gymnastics and looking pretty. Very good. At the next Elf Games, we shall have dancing and gymnastics. And looking pretty. Yes, and looking pretty. Yay! Yay!
baby Princess Holly can teach us how to do it. <laughs> yes, please. Ho, ho. <laughs> 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 